Today we'll have a look at this fun pen, the Inky. The Inky by Flair it was sent to me by a very kind viewer who said you have to check out some inexpensive Indian pens. And uh, that's what we did. So he sent these to me. Uh, it's uh, made by Flair. It's the Inky. And um, if you know your pens, then you may think Pilot Varsity. And that's what I thought too, or the, the V pen, which is a disposable pen that Pilot makes. Interesting pen. I'm going to cover the parts, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing something. Moving forward a little bit, because it's that time, let's look at the pen. Let's look at the, the, the cap here. You see it's a lot of plastic uh, on top there, nothing really. A little bit of detail with, with the, 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 the cutouts. Plastic clip, I can very easily snap that off, so I, I would be a little careful with that. Clear cap, I like that. No weird little inner cap that, that destroys the view of the nib. Works well. You have the barrel, well there is a lot of information on the barrel. I mean, the clip itself uh, has uh, flare and inky on it, but the barrel, I mean, that that's... They, they put a lot of stuff on there, so there is a barcode, there is... Rediscover the joy of writing. So apparently it's not about discovering, but rediscovering. It says liquid fountain pen, it says flare and inky, there are purple circles on it, there are purple... I don't know, I don't know, this is some type of way aliens used to communicate with us, or whatever, but it's it's weird symbols. Uh, then there is a little purple end cap, you undo uh, the cap, just snaps in place. And then you have this section, and this section is really, really reminiscent of the uh, Pilot Varsity. Even the nib really has that shape. Then you have the, the transparent barrel with the, the, the feet that you can see very well colored. It's really Varsity-like. Uh, but it writes. Which is interesting. Uh, I, I think it even has, yes, you can see that. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but if you look at the very tip, you may see that there is a little wick. So what these, these pens work in such a way there is a some fibrous material that they slip in from behind into the, uh, the feed and it ends up right there under the, the two tines and that slowly saturates with ink and then draws up the ink and that's how you write. Um, filling system, interestingly enough, cartridges, and you got, I think, one or two cartridges, maybe three, I forgot the exact amount, but you, you, you get these cartridges with the pen, and it's a, a fairly funky format, uh, right there. Uh, these are bigger than standard international short, shorter than standard international long, and very hard, it's a very hard plastic, with a pretty big nipple. I um, it's it's big, uh, so I'm also in diameter. So this looks like some odd proprietary format that maybe in India is very common. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you can easily purchase these. I have never seen these in in shops here. So so uh, you know you may have to refill these if you want to purchase one and don't have access to the um, the proprietary refills. Just cartridge, simple, clicks in place, no issues. Okay. Fascinating. What do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well, let's start with some things I like. It's inexpensive. It's, uh, um, it does sound like I have to think about it. That's actually not the case. I was trying to, how to formulate this. I think the biggest advantage to this is, yes, it's very Pilot V pen like or Varsity like, but this pen has an enormous advantage, which is that you can easily refill it. I know you can refill a V pen, but you have to uh, tear out the feed with, with pliers or something and, and, and eyedropper, you know, put more ink in. He just put in another cartridge. So they've basically created something very much like the V-Pen and, you know, kind of copied it down to the nib, even though this nib does say flare, uh, but it does have the little round thing on the nib that I think the pilot nibs have too, which you can refill it. And that's very nice because that's the whole point of using a fountain pen, that you don't create enormous amounts of waste by throwing out the entire ballpoint when it's empty, but you just put in a new cartridge, right? Um, so that's very cool. I think that's really, really neat that they, they came up with a, a very simple refillable pen. 
Apart from that, things I don't like about it so much, yeah, guys, you have to be honest, it's very plasticky, it feels cheap. This clip, as I said, I can probably snap this off with one finger, but you have to look at the context, it's an inexpensive pen. I'm sure this was made for, uh, say, uh, people in school uh, who want to have a cheap, uh, or at least inexpensive pen. And that's the nice thing. The nice thing about fountain pens like this, I think, is that because they are inexpensive, they're easy gifts, right? You, you want to convert someone to become a fountain pen user, you want someone to check out a fountain pen, you give them this, they use it, they have fun with it, and that's all there's to it. And I think that's very important. So, that's part of the fun of this pen. I think that's all I can say about it. Uh, it's, it's clearly not a super fancy high-end limited edition with all kinds of features. It's what you see is what you get. Simple pen. But the fun thing is, it actually writes well. It writes surprisingly smoothly, just like the Pilot V-Pen does. A little less so than the V-Pen. I think that one is even smoother. Huh, <sighs> nearly sneeze. Um, so, it's cool. It, it, it writes, it works, and that's all. Let's do it. High resolution pictures of the pen, as well as its dimensions, are listed on my website, sbrebrown.com. What we're going to do next is a writing sample. Hope this was useful so far. You, thanks again for sending me this pen. I appreciate it. And uh, guys, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Flare Inky. Uh, there was a bit of a hard start there. Uh, the nib, well, it's unmarked, something in the fine medium range. And the ink is a proprietary cartridge that came with the pen. Uh, let's do a bit of writing. I find the nib to be fairly smooth, um, but it definitely has a touch of feedback. It's not a, an ultra smooth nib. If you compare it to the, the Pilot Varsity, that this pen is kind of based on, and that has a much smoother nib. Uh, I also find it skippy. That, that was me. I misaligned the nib. And definitely hard starty. It, it has issues starting, and you do see some skips there. Wetness of the pen of course, it also depends on the ink you're using, but it's a very dry pen. Um, that's definitely a nib I would probably try to make a little wetter. Line variation. There is some, although I don't think it's a stellar difference. Reverse writing, for those of you who enjoy such a thing, definitely works. Is scratchier, but still doable. It's, I don't really feel this nib digging into the paper, as happens with some pens. Um, and then you definitely go to a finer line. Okay, a very kind thank you to the kind viewer horrible mix of scripts, uh, who sent me this. I really appreciate it. Uh, guys, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.